Hi, this is a question from Tim, and he's asking if I could explain uh, a little more detail how much protein the body can utilize a day. Uh, I've read many different numbers from 30 to 40 um, per meal, he didn't specify what he meant, one gram per pound of body weight. I'm very curious on your thoughts on how much protein an average person should eat per day. Um, I personally don't eat uh, protein meals per se. Um, I don't look for proteins. I have not eaten protein meals uh, you know, like animal proteins, eggs, fish, chicken, and so on uh, for 40 years now. Before then, I used to be severely protein deficient even though I was eating uh, every single day, twice a day or three times a day uh, dairy products, fish, meat, chicken, and so on. Um, so y it depends on uh, how well you digest your food. Uh, that determines how well, how much uh, protein you might need. Uh, you know, so it, it's it's really the that the question should not be how much protein can I get into my body, but how much protein do I uh, digest and absorb. Um, some proteins are um, eat more easily digested uh, than others. Uh, for example, uh, there is just as much protein in broccoli um, than there is in red meat. Uh, yet, uh, if you eat a steak, uh, you can only digest up to 20% of it if you eat it if you eat it when the digestion is the strongest, which is midday. So you have a leftover of. 80% uh, undigested meat, which tends to decompose and produce very powerful poisons and toxins. Uh, for this reason, uh, the, you know, eating meat on a regular basis, according to the National Institute of Cancer, a study that was done on 550,000 Americans, uh, would increase your risk of dying by 20% from any kind of illness, including cancer, diabetes, heart disease, osteoporosis and many others. So uh, the, the, the question again is if your digestive system uh, is uh, equipped with uh, an ability to digest protein, uh, then uh, yes, you, you can eat uh, more proteins. Uh, yeah, but if you are not, then uh, you're not being able to digest it can uh, be devastating for the body. I found uh, through my own experiences, uh, once I cleaned out my liver, I was able to eat digest and digest proteins again, but I found that I didn't need to eat any proteins that are derived from animal sources, uh, highly concentrated sources. So um, I do eat uh, because I like uh, you know, nuts and seeds, so I have a, a small amount, maybe eight or ten almonds a day. Uh, that that would uh, count for my protein intake. Um, then I would uh, I like chia seeds, uh, which are you know also has some um, proteins in them. Uh, besides that, I eat lots of vegetables, you know, salads, uh, like lettuce, cucumber, avocado. Um, I I eat some grain foods and some legumes uh, at times, uh, fruit. Um, so th these are the natural foods that are perfectly sufficient uh, to keep my body the way it has always been. I've never changed my weight. Um, I don't have any health problems at 57. Um, my body uh, yeah, behaves as if it's like 35. Uh, so you don't need to eat protein in order to make protein. Uh, I've yeah, discovered that uh, a long time ago uh, that you know, there is a myth that you you totally depend on eating protein in order to make protein. Um, I would uh, suggest you know, look at uh, animals, the strongest animals on the planet, elephants, gorillas, wild horses uh, that uh, don't go out and uh, eat a lot of uh, heavy protein meals. Uh, they just eat vegetation. Uh, so there is something uh, to be said about us. We are obviously not animals, uh, but uh, there is, you know, I'm the living proof. Uh, you know, I only have to convince myself. I don't have to convince you or anyone else. Um, I discovered uh, over the years, having worked with hundreds and thousands of people around the world, 
that you don't uh, depend on eating animal proteins in order to fill your needs for proteins, that you can live perfectly well um, without those as long as you have an adequate balanced diet and uh, you have a, a good secretion of bile from your liver uh, which then allows you to digest the foods that you eat so that you don't develop deficiencies like it happened to me where I suffered uh, severe protein deficiency even though I was eating a lot of protein and when I, when I cleaned out my liver I, I didn't have a protein deficiency anymore even though I had stopped eating a protein uh, meals or protein foods altogether. So I hope this answers your question on this topic. Mm -hmm.